Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Grace Regato softball field on the Babe Ruth Complex. Ably run. Jeff Hurt, Dave Raymond, and I'll stop there because there's a whole bunch of names I could mention. Doing outstanding work for the young people in the city. Running the Babe Ruth baseball program. They're going to have baseball, softball. They're going to have softball for the girls this year back again. It was a great program years ago. And it's coming back. So congratulations to them. They do a great job. With no pay. They don't get a nickel. But they, you couldn't pay them. Their hourly rate, it, you know, would cost you too much money. They spend too many hours down here, especially Dave Raymond working on this field, getting it in shape for these kids to play games. <clears throat> he does a great job. This is interleague softball. Newton South making the trip down here to take on the Lady Spartans, St. Mary's. St. Mary's six and three. They're trying to get back on the winning track. They've lost two in a row. Two tough games. And I apologize up front, I only have last names for Newton South. And Hazarinia is the leadoff hitter against Lily Newhall. <clears throat> Colleen Hawker Newberry leading the Spartans, coming back after a long time off. Newton Sells only played six games. Their coach is a relative of Yersey Queeley's, the outstanding player at St. Mary's basketball. And he told me he's got a bunch of games coming up next week. In for a strike. Walker, the third baseman, charging in as Hazarini a squid like you might bunt. Up and away for a ball. Lily <coughs> Newhall had a perfect game this year, adding to her outstanding career here at St. Mary's. Hit foul at home plate, evens the count at two. And again, big puffy white clouds, blue skies, perfect day, except you can probably hear the wind blowing 80 miles an hour in your, on your TV. It is cold again. Strike three call, good pitch on the outside corner. So one up, one down on the call strike. Wong is the hitter. In for a strike. Newhall throwing to Roma Braid, the catcher. <coughs> Popped up outside first base. Stays in play. And Angie Catino makes the play. Two up, two down for Cooperman. Hits it in the air. Long run for the center fielder. Coming on. Brooke Maloney makes the play. So a quick one, two, three inning for Lily Newhall and the Lady Spartans. And St. Mary says a chance to get on the board first. Brooke Maloney, the center fielder, will lead off. Riley Zukas, the right fielder, bat second. Hitting third and playing third, Michaela Walker. The left fielder, Anna Franguli, hits in the cleanup spot. Batting fifth is the designated player, Kylie Williams. Hitting for the first baseman, Angie Catino. 
the pitcher, Lily Newhall, hit number six, batting seven at the point, shortstop, Emily Rodriguez. The catcher, Roma Braid, hit number eight, and Jenna Chaplin, the outstanding hockey player, will play second base and bat ninth. Goldberg is on the mound. Brooke Maloney, last year as an eighth grader, she was an all-star in the Catholic Central League softball. She's a three-sport athlete, basketball, soccer, softball. And she's able to do very well in class, too. She's an honor roll student. Terrific young lady. She'll lead it off for St. Mary's in the bottom of the first against Goldberg. In for a strike. Brooke is the center fielder for the Lady Spartans. Now they got a piece tipped it into the catcher's mitt. The catcher is Cooperman. Hit foul over the St. Mary's dugout out of play. Count stays one and two. A couple of tough losses for St. Mary's. The last one, they were leading two nothing. Through five innings, they wound up losing three to two. Over the head of Maloney, <coughs> the count evens at two. Popped up, and it's going to go out of play again over the St. Mary's dugout. Last day of April, and we'll be glad to see it go. The weather has been absolutely horrific. It's been the wind mostly. It just hasn't stopped. Made it extremely cold. Hit off the umpire's mask, knocked the umpire's mask off. I guess we can pay it extra for that. Get out of the way for a ball. For Maloney making Goldberg work. The 
payoff pitch. Hit in the center field for a base hit. So good at bat by Maloney. Kept working, fouling off, taking pitches. He gets the first hit of the game. And Riley Zukic, the right fielder, will be the hitter. Let's see if they play small ball. Takes it on the outside corner. She's shortened up like she's going to bunt. Third baseman stayed back. I guess they'll let the pitcher cover the third baseline. Well, she wasn't, she didn't look like she was sacrificing. It looked like she was going to bunt for a hit. She was running up, trying to push it down the first baseline. And quickly, it's two strikes. She slaps it to third, safe, and they throw it away. Maloney will scoot over to third. They weren't going to get, I'm going to give her a base hit. They weren't going to get her at first base, and they certainly didn't get her at second base. Once you get it down, you put a lot of deep pressure on the defense. Maloney was going. They really didn't have a play. Maloney. Easily in at second. Zucas in at first, so it's first and second with nobody out for Walker, the third baseman. Swings away and hits it off the backstop foul. Lucas takes off a second base, they let her go. So second and third with nobody out. Chase the high pitch, swung right through it. And it's one and two. Walker obviously wants a base hit, but she'd love to put it in place someplace and get St. Mary's on top. I don't know, he called. Cooper wants to go out and talk to her pitcher. So they walk, Walker. Hit in the air, deep to center field. This will bring in a run. And the friend Gouley gets it done. She 
you hit it deep. I'm trying to feel the Hazamania tracked it down. Let's see if he always gets on the board first. Riley Williams, the designated player, hitting for Catino, the first baseman, is the hitter. Long run for the right field that couldn't get there. Everybody had to wait to see if it would be caught. So Williams gets a base hit, and the bases are loaded again. Good effort by Kelly, the right fielder, had a long run into right center field. And just off her glove. And Ruli Newhall can help herself here. Base is loaded, one out. In for a strike. High for a ball. In just about a month, St. Mary's will be playing in the Hall and Tournament, being brought back after COVID shut it down. In for a strike quickly, it's a one and two. So this is pitcher against pitcher. Solid shot, past third base, down in the corner. That's going to score three. Billy Newell helps herself with a line shot just inside the third base bag. Clears the bases. Williams is able to score all the way from first base. And all of a sudden it's four to nothing. And Emily Rodriguez, the shortstop, will be the hitter. Line shot by Newhall just inside the third base bag. Went all the way down in the corner. Three run score easily. Hit foul out of play. When that wind stops, it's almost bearable here. It's it's not bad. But then the wind comes back and makes it very chilly and cold. Off the catcher, that'll move Newhall to third. I'll end up wearing more layers of clothing for softball than I do for hockey at Cornery. Chase that pitcher was way over her head. Way out of the strike zone. Goldberg got help on that pitch. I stopped by the catcher, Cooperman. My shot. Knocked down foul.
check and make sure the runner at third base is okay. That's the pitcher. They don't want her to get hurt. He nailed Newhall off the bag in foul territory. Rodriguez went down, checked to see if she's okay, gave her a hug. Last thing she wants to do is kill her pitcher and also her friend. Solid shot to left field over everybody's head, off the fence. Back-to-back -back doubles. Rodriguez got all of that. Banged it off the fence out in left field. Newhall scores the fifth run of the inning. Five of the first six hitters have scored. The one that didn't was the cleanup hitter. Frank Grulli, and she got the sacrifice fly, knocking in the run, the first run. And it gets a little forum on the mound, and when that happens, you get a forum with the coaching staff of St. Mary's and the outfielders. Everybody gets together when there's one of these conferences on the mound. And they're warming up a new pitcher. Wong is going to be the new pitcher. So the shortstop will take over. Over gives up five hits and a walk. Five runs. Pitcher Goldberg will go to shortstop. Swing and a miss. Roma Bray, the catcher, is the eighth hitter in the inning. Still only one out. Five runs in. High for a ball. Hit to the mound. Uh, they call it a foul ball off the foot of Braid. Hit the shot. Goldberg will make the play over Rosenheim. Bray hit it well, but she hit it right at the shortstop. Rodriguez move over to third. And Jenna Chaplin, outstanding hockey player, was the leading scorer around the, around the area. 
stops it fall of home plate. And I said, Mary's is happy that she's back next year. Hit right to the shortstop again. Two shots, Chap Braid and Chaplin both hit it hard, but hit it right at the shortstop. So St. Mary sends nine to the plate. Five of them score. We finished an inning in this interleague battle. St. Mary's leading Newton South five nothing. We'll start the second inning. Louise Newhall has got five runs to work with. Most of them provided by herself. She got a big three RBI double. Rosenhan, the first baseman, throws lefty, bats righty. She'll lead it off for Newton South. In for a strike. Two quick strikes. We mentioned the Hall of Tournament coming back. It'll be, I, I believe it's May 28th and 29th. It's that weekend. And English Classical, St. Mary's and Swanscott. That didn't miss by much. Kind of a practice for the actual state tournament. Off the Glover Bridge to the backstop, even as a count at two. Hit foul. And we'll do it again at two and two. Just missed. Well, Newhall's got to come in with a pitch. Hit foul again. Rosenheim hanging around. That didn't miss by much. I, I was wondering why she was standing. That's ball four. That's a tough pitch to take with two strikes. Forrestal, the left fielder, is the hitter. In for a strike. Swing and a miss. Quickly on two. Wave for strike three. They throw it down. Rosenheim got back. Paul saw the second strikeout victim. And the first out of the second inning. And Shreve, the third baseman, will be the header. They stopped by Braid on the pitch in the dirt. <coughs> Again, I apologize. We, when they gave us the lineup, they only gave us the last names. One ball, one strike. 
Newton, South Third Baseman. Another nice pitch for strike two. Keep it there, they're not going to do much with it. Hit foul to the backstop. And we'll do it again at one and two. Hit foul again. Just a little love tap. If you don't have to worry about running into the fence, she almost made a very nice play. The fence protecting Newton Cell, she ran into it trying to make the play. Shreve just reached out and just kind of tapped that off to the right side. Katina almost made it. Nice play, it wasn't from lack of effort she didn't make it. Off the screen, the wild pitch will move Rosenhan on over. Way high in a way. Again, a tough pitch to take with two strikes. Didn't miss by much. Strike three called, right in on the inside corner in the hands. Good pitch again by Newhall. Two away. Schwager, the second baseman, is the hitter. Down the way for a ball. You loyal fans here on a Saturday afternoon. I'll tip off Reed the catcher. On a brisk, cool, cold Saturday afternoon, last day of April. Low and inside for a ball. And away for a ball. <laughs> the batter didn't know whether it was a ball or a strike. I didn't either. It's ball four. It looked like a good pitch. So two walks, Sham was around two strikeouts. Puts runs at first and second with two outs for Kelly, the right fielder. In for a strike. Low for a ball, she shortened up. And that Drew Walker, the third baseman, charging in. Everybody bouncing around. She gets the bunt down. Great play by Braid. Outstanding defensive play by Braid. She didn't hesitate a second. 
That butt was perfect out in front of the plate. Braid, great reaction. Got to it quickly, almost, almost before the batter was out of the box. And throws around at first base. Outstanding defense by the catcher. Reaction. Within a second, a millimeter. So they get two base runners on the two walks. Newhall strikes out two. Braid makes that big defensive play. And St. Mary's will carry that 5 nothing lead into the bottom of the second inning. And Wong will start an inning for the first time. She came to relief in the first inning. She was the shortstop. And once again, as it was in the first inning, so shall it be in the second inning. Top of the order, Brooke Maloney will lead it off. She got a base hit, hit the right center field, and scored the first run. One, two, three for St. Mary's as we start the second inning. High and tight for the ball. Wong came in and stopped the bleeding. She got two ground balls. There were two shots, two hard hit, but right to the shot stop for the last two outs. And away for a ball. High again. Three one the count. Just take a good look at this pitch. Hit. In a right center field for a base hit. It's in the gap. She's going to keep going. She can fly. She slides. She didn't have to. She actually got up at the slide and took the turn at third. She leads off with a triple. Third extra base hit for St. Mary's in an inning because there's nobody out in the second inning. Riley Zukas. Tap on the third base and beat it for a base hit, and she scored a run. So the top of the yard, they can fly. Maloney flying around the bases. Now going the other way into left field for a base hit. So the top of the yard are getting it done. Very quickly, St. Mary's gets a run in the second inning. Michaela Walker walked and scored. Hits it up the middle for a base hit. So Shamira's getting right back at it here in the second inning. And the friend Gouli had a sacrifice fly. So she hasn't batted officially, but she's got an RBI. In for a strike. So a triple, a single, a single. Mary's adds to that five nothing lead, and they have first and second, nobody out.
hit off the shortstop's glove, everybody's going to reach. And Julie will reach on the arrow. So for the second inning in a row, Samir said the base is loaded. This time with nobody out. Riley Williams got a base hit her first at bat. Pops it up. Nice play by the pitcher. He almost got a double play. Wong, who's a shortstop when she's not pitching, made a great pick off the shoe top. She picked that little pop up. And very quickly, she fired the ball to first base. Looking for the double play. But Franguli was able to get back. Lily Newhall. Last time she was up with the bases loaded. She lined a shot just inside third base for double and cleared the bases. She had three RBI and then she scored a run. She was involved in four of the five runs. Scored in the first inning on the inside corner. Fouls it off the backstop and stays alive. Swing and a miss. Big out. So Wong helping herself, fielding the pop up, now a strikeout. Emily Rodriguez doubled in a run, her one trip. Missing up and away. Waves at that pitch. One on one. Hit in the air outside first base. Just beyond the reach of the first baseman, Rosenhan. So Rodriguez gets a life. A bat around in the first. She's the seventh hitter here in the second. Off the catcher, bang, that's going to bring a run in. So the wild pitch brings in the second run. Moves the runners to second and third, so they don't have a force at any base, even home plate, on a ground ball that they had with the bases loaded. Samiris gets another run. Hits it a mile in the air. And I think they're going to call interference on the, the base runner. She hit, she ran. Right down the baseline, which you can't do, she ran right into the first baseman. Rodriguez trying to get to the bag. First baseman trying to make the catch. They collided. That'll be the third out. But St. Mary's gets two more on three hits. So the error doesn't hurt. But St. Mary's gets two more, and we play two in this intercity, uh, inter conference battle. Seven nothing, St. Mary's over Newton South. Nine, one and two on Newton South as we start the third inning.
Goldberg was the pitcher. She's now the shortstop. Made a couple of nice plays at shortstop in that first inning. Made the last two to get himself out of the inning. That's the way these kids deserve a lot of credit. You're out in the mound, you're pitching. They come in, they take you out of the mound because you, they, they, they're hitting the ball and you're not getting outs. And you could very easily be disappointed and down in the dumps and they put you at shortstop and you, you could be out there thinking, I, I blew it, I'm not helping my team. I could be down in the dumps. Well, she wasn't, she stayed in the game. She made two very nice plays at shortstop. Popped up. Catino makes a nice running catch, running towards home plate. The wind is blowing towards home plate. It took that back. But she makes the play for the first out. And back to the top of the order. Hazarinia let off the game. Called out on strikes. In for a strike. It's, it's amazing how these, you see the, the baseball players, they get, they lose, they walk out, they're shaking their heads. The girls take it in stride. Hit the center field. Maloney is there to make the play. Maloney has moved out, done a nice job. She moved out the center field. She was the first baseman for St. Mary's last year. And switch position, move up the center field, and she handles it very nicely. Really good athlete. Convention, three sports. Wong is now the pitcher. She popped up to the first baseman her one trip. But coming to the park today, she Mary's they had won the they were five and one. They were six and one. They lost their next two in a row. And you would think coming to the park, they might be a little tense. What are we going to do today? How are we going to get by? Are we going to win? They were just very upbeat, bouncing around, having fun. That's the way it should be. Everybody can't win the state championship. Everybody can't go undefeated. Everybody can't win the league. Everybody can have fun, though. Hit the third. Nice play by Walker. Second, one, two, three inning for Lily Newhall. First inning, she didn't get a strikeout. So we're moving to the bottom of the third inning. For the first time, Maloney won't lead off. She let off both the first and second innings. She'll bat in this inning, though, because it'll be eight, nine, and one. So she'll get to hit in all three innings. Roma Parade, Jenna Chaplin, and then Brooke Maloney to face Wong, who'll be starting her second full inning. Again, when that wind stops, it's almost bearable here. I think there are a few Newton South fans here too, because I noticed the center fielder has a Rainier and the left fielder Forrestal waving to somebody over behind the fence in left field. So a few people made the trip. It's, it's a little bit of a hike 
coming from Newton, the other side of Boston. Rover Braid, the catcher, hit it right on the nose, they hit it right to the shortstop. Bray took over behind the plate this year. She does a very nice job. I'm going to wait for a ball. Swing and a miss. 1-1 one, one the count. Bounced in. Two one the count. Lady Spartan catcher. Ooh, that looked like a miss. I was just about to say down and in for a ball, and the umpire said strike two. I guess I should let him call balls and strikes because he sees the plate, I don't. High and tight for a ball. And that's ball four. First walk given up. I won, and we're in inning three, and in inning three, St. Mary's has the leadoff hitter on for the third time, and we'll get a run of it. I'm trying to pick up the number. She's got that long hair hanging down, blocking her number at first base. Jenna Chapel hit it right on the nose and hit it right to the shortstop and got thrown out. High for a ball. Oh. Hit deep. All the way to the fence. They're waving the runner home. Another extra base hit. Chaplin drilled that one. Braid scores all, the, the, the pitch runner, excuse me, scores all the way from first base. Brooke Maloney, all she's done is single and scored, tripled and scored. Chase that pitch that was high. She's up for the third time in the third in three innings. She hits it in the air, it's gonna go foul and out of play.
solid shot to shot stop. Nice play. Goldberg, the former pitcher, had to go to her right field that made a good strong throw over the first base of Rosenheim. And they get the quick running Maloney by a step for the first out. And Kaplan moved over to third. Riley Zukas has singled and scored. Singled in a run and scored. So well, she's two for two with two runs scored in RBI. She's the right fielder. I believe it was Kirby that ran for Braid that scored the run. High for a ball. Reach for that pitch, it was way over her head. Actually stepping away from that pitch and hit it foul past third base. Hit the second, that's gonna bring a run in. She'll get another RBI. Chaplin will score. She nearly gets two more. Kayla Walker is perfect. She walked and scored and singled. So Zukas gets the job done, hitting it to the right side with a runner at third, gets the run home. Hit nice pick. Pitcher Wong, like we mentioned, she's a shortstop when she's not pitching. She made a nice pick. That might have gone a base hit. Takes her away from Walker. What St. Mary's? The bottom of the order getting done with the walk, the double. By Braid and Chaplin, they get two more, and they lead it nine to nothing after three innings over Newton South. Three, four, five for Newton South as we start the fourth inning. Cooper and the catcher fly to Maloney in center field for a one trip. And we got Anna Panguli on the mound. In for a strike. So Newhall goes three. The only two base runners with the two walks. Didn't give up a hit, struck out three. Shut Newton South out. In for a strike again.
Lined in the left field for a base hit. So Cooperman gets the first hit for Newton South. Where's the bunt takes the pitch for a strike? That's ball four. So first and second with nobody out. For Forrestal, the left fielder who struck out swinging. Popped up to the third baseman on the first pitch. Try to change up through it way high. In for a strike. Riley, I'm so proud of you, Riley. They throw it away at first base. The run's going to score. Three will reach on the error. And went out of play. And if it goes out of play, the runner at third should score as well. No, I'm wrong. She gets third. She was at first base. So with second and third, was Schwager who walked her first trip, the second baseman. In for a strike. They get the bunt down, and they don't make a play. They threw it the second, but they threw it high, and the runner got back. So it's a base hit.
So the bases are loaded. And that brings a trip out to the mound. Fun out in front, he had trouble fielding it and didn't make the play. I think Walker, the third baseman, has gone to second base. Second baseman Chaplin has gone to left field. And taking Lily Newhall's place. Is Ashanti Pad Padilla over at third? Did that hit the runner going down? Was, or was it was it foul? They were explaining it to Newton South coach now. If it hit her in fair territory going down the first place line, she's out. That was the call, I believe, so it's going to be the second out. They're still discussing it with the Newton South coach, but the call is going to stand. She's out. So two way for Goldberg who popped to the first baseman her one trip. High and tight for the ball. High again for a ball, 2-0. Oh. <coughs> so she got the bunt down, and then she ran into it going down the first baseline. For the second out. 3-0 and oh, on the verge of walking in a run. Four pitches, over draws a walk, and gets an RBI. Second walk in, in going along with an error, a couple of base hits. <coughs> and we're back to the top of the order. Hazarinia hits it back to the mound. Easy play for Franguli. But Newton South gets three in the inning, or two to two in the inning. They do it with the first two base hits, the error, and the two walks help. The walk scored one of the runs. <laughs> so we're halfway through the ball game. And Mary's eventually four trying to break a two game losing streak out in front nine to two over Newton South. And Newton South coach Hayshu still discussing the call with the 
umpires. Frank Gooley, who's now the pitcher, will lead it off for St. Mary's. Four, five, and six. We hit a sacrifice fly for an RBI. He saw an error. Because he's 0 for 1 with an RBI. Hi, for a ball. Long starting an inning for the first, third time. She came in relief, let a little inside on the hands, and she goes the other way with it and pops it to the first baseman. So one quick out in the fourth inning. This is not Riley Williams. Hit foul. This is Padilla who went into play third base. I thought I thought she would be hitting a Lily Newhall spot. I don't know how she gets in here. She went into play third base. High for balls. I thought it might be Catino hitting for herself, but it's not. It's Padilla. And I don't know how they get the batting out of the way they got it. Hit foul out of play. Strike three called. Hit in a left center field for a base hit. And that's Lily Newhall. I don't know. You have to explain to me what they did here. Lily Newhall was the pitcher. She came out of the game. I don't know where she went. Padilla went in to play third base. She hit in Williams' spot. I don't know how they did this with the batting on it. Yeah, 
they were going to run for Newhall. She's not the pitcher anymore, so. They almost picked the runner off at first base. I think that's Kirby. Waves at the pitch again. This is Rodriguez, the shortstop, doubled in a run, popped to the first baseman. So I don't know where Newhall is playing. Is she? Strike three called. They're out of the inning. First thing that St. Mary's doesn't score. We're through four here at the Grace Regatto Field. Nine to two, St. Mary's. Wong, the pitcher, leads it off. She has popped up and grounded a third. Her pop up was the first base. High for ball. Ranguli back on the mound. So I don't know how they did this. Padilla, New Holland. It's not on the field. Somehow they made New Hall the designated player. Hit foul. <laughs> Padilla went in. New Hall came out. I thought. She would bat in Newhall spot, but she didn't. She batted in the designated player spot. Hit the deep center field. That's in for a base hit. Around first. In with a double. Wong gets a double. That was an awful close play at second base. Good hustle by Riley Zukas to get it back quickly. He almost knocked her down at second base. Cooperman, the catcher, fly to center and got the first base hit and scored the first run for Newton South. Hit back to the mound. Ranguli will make the play. Hit in the left center field for a base hit. So Rosenhan had walked twice and scored. Now she's got a hit and an RBI. And Newton South's got their third run. Forrestal has struck out and popped to third. In for a strike. Hit the first base. Just a little spin, had a lot of spin and topped it. A lot of English on that little tapper down the first base. Catino makes the play. Shreve, the third baseman, has struck out and reached on an error.
in for a strike. Just missed outside, one on one. In for a strike, one and two. The one two pitch up and coming. Chopped it to first base. Katina will make her second play in the inning. Heaton South is out in the top of the fifth, but they get another run. The leadoff double by Wong and the RBI by Rosenhorn. And it's now nine to three. As we move into the bottom of the fifth inning, it'll be the bottom two and then back to the top of the order for the Lady Spartans. Roma Braid, the catcher, will lead off, and it will be Jill Kirby, who went into play left field when Frank Gruley went to the mound. They made the switch. Kirby went to left. Padilla came in the game to play third. They moved the third baseman, Walker, over to second. So Kirby will hit the chaplain spot. That's legitimate. I still don't know how Padilla hits in the designated player spot and how Uli Newhall is still in the game. Great, rounded a shot, walked and scored. Hit foul off to the right side out of play. On the corner for a strike, quickly on two. Up and away for a ball. St. Mary's gets tied quickly, got five in the first inning. Two in the second, two in the third. They didn't score in the fourth. First time they didn't score. They built up that nine nothing lead. Hit right back to the mound again. Wong being a shot stop when she's not pitching, makes the nice play. Braid hit it well. She's hit it well twice. First time she hit it shot to shot stop. Now up the middle, Wong makes the play and takes it away from her. One away. And it should be Jill Kirby. On the inside corner for a strike. Maloney, the center fielder, on deck. Up and away for a ball.
sit past third base, <laughs> making the turn, another extra base hit. Three doubles and a triple. Maloney has singled and scored, tripled and scored. <laughs> Last time up, she hit a solid shot. Shot stomp. Goldberg went to her right, fielded it, made a good strong throw and nipped her at first base. An outstanding defensive play to take her third hit away. That's Jenna Chaplin who got the double. So now I'm totally confused as to who's playing where and who's in the batting order. So that was Chaplin. Maloney hits it foul. So it wasn't Kirby. I thought Kirby would be hitting. So Chaplin, Kirby went to play left field when Frank Gula went to the mound. So I'm completely confused as to the batting order. Hit in a right field for a base hit. Maloney would get her third hit in an RBI. Kaplan scores her second run. Riley Zukas is Jillian Kirby. So Zukas came out of the game. Kirby went to play left field. Hit foul off the backstop. Zuka's batted in the spot before. She had a single, a single, scored two, had two RBI. She grounded out second to first, getting an RBI. Hit up the middle for a base hit. So run in first and second. This is supposed to be Michaela Walker. But we got another hitter. Gabby Marichal will hit. Hit foul off the umpire's mask again. <laughs> it is like. Popped up, long run for the right field, who was playing off the line for right hand hitter. 
filed on the right side. Wide for a ball. So after an out, a double, back to back singles, a run in, two one, one out. Hit the third base, they'll make the play and they make the double play. Nice job by Shreve, the third baseman. So they get another run. They get in the double digits with 10. It's 10 to three, St. Mary's at the end of five. Seven, eight, and nine for Newton South as we start the sixth inning. Swigger has walked and singled. In for a strike. Hit the shot, she's gonna beat it for a base hit. Just a little half pop, half line drive, sunk between third and short. And Schweig is on for the third time. Her second hit to go along with a walk. Kelly laid down a perfect bunt and Braid the catcher made a great defensive play to throw her out. Last time up, she bunted and it hit her going down the first baseline. She was out. In for a strike. Quickly on two. Diving back at first is Schwager. Hit foul off the backstop. Hit in the air, foul out of play over the Newton South dugout. Up and away for a ball. Low off the catcher's glove in the dirt. Moves the runner over to second base. Swing and a miss for strike three. Goldberg, the shortstop, was the pitcher. Popped the third, drew a walk, getting an RBI. The walk came with the bases loaded. High for a ball.
popped up foul over the St. Mary's dugout. Popped up. And Gooley, the pitcher, makes the play. Two away here in the sixth. Top of the order. Azarenia struck out, applied to center, bounced to the pitcher. Bounced to the pitcher was against Fran Gruley. Changed up, bounced low in the dirt for ball one. In for a strike. Hit off the third baseman. As we will reach on the arrow. So first and third with two outs. The arrow extends the inning. Wong was the shortstop, now the pitcher. Popped the first, grounded the third, doubled and scored. So one for three with a run scored. In for a strike. Solid shot to left field. Nice running catch. Kirby with a great play. That looked like extra bases, probably a couple of runs. Kirby took it away with a great running catch over the shoulder. That's outstanding defense. As I say very often, that's an ESPN highlight. So the error and the hurt and the, and the hit do not hurt. As Newton South is down at their last three outs as they're out in the sixth inning, leaving two on. And we'll move into the bottom half of the sixth inning. And we'll have to guess who's coming up. <laughs> Franguli, the pitcher, will lead it off. And it will be Padilla. And then Lily Newhall. I have no idea where Lily Newhall is playing. She came out of the game pitching. They've made a thousand substitutions since then. And I don't know how they work in the batting water at all. I'm not sure they know either. Hangui, sacrifice fly for an RBI, reach on an error, pop to first. Four, five, and six, the middle of the order for the Lady Spartans, leading it 10 to three. Well on the way to breaking themselves out of that two game losing streak. Chase that pitch way up in the air for, for strike one. Down and in for a ball. Hey. 
hit in a right center field for a base hit. This is supposed to be Padilla. Pop, nice play by the pitcher again. He's helped himself on the mound, Wong. One away. For Lily Newhall. In for a strike. Obviously, this is not Lily Newhall. Hit foul. Popped up. It drops in for a base hit. Behind the first baseman, she couldn't go get it. Second baseman made a great try. But it's a base hit. First and second. Laurie Servio will hit for Rodriguez. Swing and a miss. Oh, Elijah Crean got that base hit as the pinch hitter. For Newhall. This is Braid, the catcher. She grounded out, grounded out in between. She walked and scored. Popped up. First baseman makes the play, so the two hits go by the board. So here we go into the seventh inning. St. Mary's needs three outs to end that two-game losing streak. Well on their way, beating it 10 to three over Newton South at the end of six. Three outs away from win number seven, St. Mary's. Three, four, and five for Newton South. Cooperman, the catcher, flied out, singles, and scored. Getting the first hit of the game for Newton South, scoring the first run, and then she bounced to the pitcher her last time up.
Elijah Queen is on the mound for St. Mary's, finishing up. Third pitcher for St. Mary's. Newhall went the first three. Franguli went the next three. Marichal, the second baseman, makes the play for the first out. Rosenheim, has per she's perfect. Walked twice, singled. Scored a run, knocked in a run. She's two-thirds of the offense for Newton South. In for a strike. Swing and a miss. Down to one out. There are teams that are search for pitchers, and here St. Mary's has three of them. Forrestal, the left fielder, struck out, popped up, ground to the first baseman. And we got a stoppage for some reason. Okay, stepped out, now he steps back. Fifth foul out of play. That one bounced in. One ball, one strike. Well, St. Mary's going to go to seven and three. Newton Celts are going to drop to four and three. St. Mary's got it going early. They got ten. They got five in the first three. They got nine in the first three. Beyond the reach of Maloney. Forrestal. Rips a double. Brooke, that's a hell of a try, Extends the inning. She split. Nice try, kid. Maloney in center, Kirby in left. Maloney made a great diving try. For the double. For Forrestal and Shreve, the third baseman, has struck out, reached on an error, bounced to first. So Forrestal gets the sixth hit for Newton South. They went hitless in the first three against Illinois Newhall. <coughs> Swing and a miss. Popped up, not high enough or far enough for the third baseman to go get it. So 
Newton South down to that last strike. Way high for a ball. Strike three. So Korean comes in and gets two strikeouts. She gives up the hit, but it's stranded. She gets two strikeouts in the inning. St. Mary's. It's the monkey off their back. They killed their, their two-game losing streak. They they get they take it here. They got going early. They get a ten to three win over Newton South. Newton South Rosenhorn had a nice game. The first baseman had two walks, scored a run, knocked in a run. She was two thirds of the offense for Newton South. St. Mary's got five in the first inning. A sacrifice fly. By. Franguli, a three RBI triple by Newhall, an RBI double by Rodriguez. They get two more in the second inning, an RBI by Zucas. Another one scored on a wild pitch. They got two more in the third, an RBI ground out by Zucas, an RBI double by Chaplin. They got one more in the fifth on an RBI single by Maloney after Chaplin got her second double, and that was 10 runs in for St. Mary's. For St. Mary's, Maloney was the hitting star. She had two singles, a triple, scored two, knocked in a run. Zukas had a sing had two singles, scored two, knocked in a run. And Kirby, in her batting spot, got a base hit. Walker had a walk and a single, scored a run. Frank Gruley had an RBI sacrifice fly. Reese Arnera had a base hit. Kylie Williams had a base hit and scored a run. Gruley Newhall had a triple, a single, knocked in three. Cream hitting in her spot had a base hit. Emily Rodriguez had an RBI double. Roma Braid had a walk, scored a run. Jenna Chaplin had two doubles, scored two and knocked in a run. So everybody getting involved offensively for St. Mary's. Everybody got to play. They used three pitches and they break the two game losing streak. They'll pick up their seventh one of the season. They go to seven and three. Newton South, it'll be a tough bus ride back uh, as they fall to four and three. Final score, St. Mary's 10, Newton South three. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.